Hey S'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. I do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you are looking for in-depth tech and gadget content, you have come to the right place. Welcome to my first video of 2021, and we are already off to the races with CES. CES is virtual this year, so this is going to be my day one recap. A lot was announced, so I am going to fly through these since we don't have all of the specs for the newest gadgets yet, but we will soon. We just have to wait for that news. So first off, we have TVs. LG featured their QNED mini LED line of 65 inch to 86 inch TVs. These are certified for 100% color accuracy and they will be available in 4K and 8K options. They also mentioned Google Stadia. I know a lot of my viewers out there use Google Stadia. They will be available on LG TVs later this year. OLED technology is making its way into smaller displays with LG introducing their new 42 inch OLED size option to their existing lineup. And they are also upgrading the display in the gallery series. So they're now calling that one the G1 and the technology inside of it is called the OLED Evo. Samsung also shut off their big TVs. The Beast being their new 110 inch 4K mini LED TV and a couple of slightly smaller options as well. Samsung debuted an updated frame TV which is slimmer than its predecessor and it still features that frame so it looks like wall art. It's very pretty. TCL's 6 series TVs are all rolling out at 8 K resolutions this year. And since they offer nice displays at an affordable price point, I'm suspecting that we could see the same here. I guess we'll have to wait and see what kind of prices those are at. Rollable mobile displays were featured heavily by a couple of brands and I totally wanted to see these come to market. Supposedly this rollable, which was teased at LG's press event video, it will actually come out later this year. Now that is a rumor, take it with a grain of salt at this time. TCL also debuted a look at two different rollable displays, one being around the size of a Fold 2 whenever it's unrolled. They also introduced a second larger one, which kind of reminds me of those ancient scrolls, but with an electronic display instead of paper being unfurled. TCL has mentioned that some kind of flexible display is on its way in 2021. However, we don't have a confirmation as far as if that's going to be a rollable or a foldable. As far as phones are concerned, yes, there is a Samsung event happening this week where we will see info about the newest line of flagship Samsung S series phones, which are going to be the S21s. TCL also introduced their new TCL 20 series phones to the show with five different ones in the lineup. Now the TCL 20 Pro 5G has my interest peaked and I hope that they continue to feature these excellent Android phones at an affordable price like we saw previously with last year's release. Tablets and laptops also got some media attention during CES Day 1. TCL showed off their new tablet, which features a color e-ink type of display. I am very interested. I can't wait to see this in person. It is called the NXT Paper or Next Paper. Lenovo is updating their ThinkPad line with a new model of the X1 Carbon and the Titanium Yoga with upgrades like better battery life, better performance, upgraded displays, plus increased portability. They look really, really nice. HP had several updated laptops to show off as well. The one that striked my fancy is the new HP Elite Folio, which has a pull forward design in a 13.5 inch form factor. There's also a couple of Chromebooks that I wanted to mention too. Acer has a new Chromebook called the Spin 514, which features AMD processors and graphics, and probably obvious given the name, it can kind of flip around into a tablet format. Samsung also featured their Galaxy Chromebook 2, surprisingly packing in their QLED technology within that two-in-one format. So also that similar like tablet design. Intel has a new CPU lineup. They have the 11th gen Tiger Lake CPUs and LG's Graham laptop is getting a refreshed look with slimmer bezels and the newer CPU. And it's still hitting a similar weight at around a kilogram. And lastly, we had the strange and the weird because it would not be a CES without the strange and the weird. Samsung had a robot that can give you wine because why not? Of course, 
Earpop also made a smart mask that can track your breathing and tell you when to change out the filter. Mask Phone is a mask that has integrated earbuds, so you can like listen to music or make calls with these integrated earbuds. There's also touchless interactions, which are a total thing this year because of sanitization, like this doorbell from alarm.com that requires no touch. You just stand on this accompanying doormat and the doorbell recognizes if you're a person, if you're an animal, or if a package is being delivered. But also we have Wi-Fi 6E as an Echo. Yes, the newest wireless networking protocol and updates on USB protocols. We're going to be seeing faster USB protocols in the coming years. There is a lot more to see this week coming out of CES. So if you are new here, subscribe to become a part of this community and check out my Patreon and buy me a coffee links down below to see how you can support this channel. I wanted to say a big thanks to my newest s'mores. I haven't recorded in a few weeks, so there's quite a few on buy me a coffee. I have Dane, Dwayne V00, Mark Nark, JG from OC, K Horn, Eddie31003, Mr. FNCH, maybe that's Mr. Finch, and Paul. And over on Patreon, Juan, Ken, David, Doug, Chris, Joseph, Richard, Edwin, Josh, and Zahn. Wow, thank you so much to each and every one of you for supporting this channel. I truly appreciate it. You are the folks that make this channel happen. So thank you to my s'mores. Comment below. Let me know know what you want to see from CES or what you have seen so far from the show that you are interested in. And thanks again so much to my s'mores for subscribing and for watching. I hope you like the new graphics. I did a whole bunch of updates over the Christmas break. Uh, let me know what you think down below. I'm Shannon Morris and I will see you soon. Bye y'all!